All right, we are live. Welcome, welcome to Plug In Your Mind. I'm with my lovely ladies. Hey. Chin. And who else do we have here? Sister P. P and Chin and Brother J are in the house. Welcome, welcome to Plug In Your Mind, where we spend time to unwind, stimulate your mind, and plug into the topics of human nature that will refine. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> now, <laughs> we're, getting, we're having too much fun. We haven't even started yet. I know. Ladies, ladies, let them know who we are. Who are we? Who wants to go first? Who are we? Why are we here? Why are we called? Uh, why are we called? I was going to say something, but I don't know if it was good for radio. I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> Let's let's edit edit. No, um, hi everyone. I'm Chen. Um, just want to welcome you guys to our program, first show of the season, and hopefully many many more. What you guys support? Just keep luck, and we'll just keep on stimulating your mind as we go along. Hey, Pete. Yes. Hey, everybody out there. Hope 2019 is going great for y'all. Um, we're here and we're going to be stimulating your mind. So you guys need to plug in because we have some interesting topics and we're going to get you guys chatting. That's what's up. That's what's up. And personally, I'm Jay and these ladies promised me free food. So I'm here to stay. <laughs> Who's cooking we're- today? Oxto, <laughs> breadfruit, Aki. Smoke, Aaron. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is incredible. Ladies, you know, we are here. Um, so much has happened in 2019 so far. 2018 has been quite a year. Uh, let's just recap for a bit before we go into our topic for these uh, ladies and gentlemen tuning in. 2018, how was it for you? How can you sum up 2018 as just that experience? If you can sum it up in a quick sentence, what would it be? Growth, learning, spiritual enhancement. Yeah, that was 2018. Yeah, 2018 for me would have, um, I would say learning. It was a learning experience. Also taught me to be patient. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I exercised a lot of that in the last year of 2018. That's what's up. I mean, and I just want to piggyback on with these ladies here. You know, it's been a journey. I mean, we go through ups and downs, but that's what builds character. And that's why we're here. And we're just grateful to be alive and just to have this opportunity to really develop ourselves. You know, I mean, not just spiritually, but also physically. So, I mean, this is going to be quite a journey. And speaking of journey, we are here. Plug in your mind is born. Ladies, the topic of today to start off 2019, the exclusive plug in your mind. Here we go. Y'all ready? Ladies, you ready? Yes. Dum, 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 dum. Here we go. Is it a drum roll? <laughs> <laughs> Are we socially unplugged from one another? It's very, very broad topic here. I mean, there's so many questions, so much things that can run through your mind. You know, we're here to stimulate the minds. But if you go back and you think about so much things have happened where you just lost connection with someone or you just feel like, you know what, you're just alone and no one to talk to. There's so many things that can run through our mind. Like, ladies, when you hear of being socially unplugged, what comes to your mind? Yes, we are socially unplugged from each other, but it's for... Um we are socially unplugged from each other because of the society now in which we're living in. And so much is expected of us that there's just not enough time in the day to connect with everybody. As much as you'd want to, you just don't have the time to connect with people. So yes, we are, but it's not done on purpose. Maybe for some it is. You know, you're avoiding that friend or whomever. <laughs> you know, like, damn, no she call, right? Like, she called me again. I am picking up that phone. Can we get a name, please? <laughs> 
But, um, you know, it's not purpose, but everyone's life is just so busy these days. Mm-hmm. Um, whether it's with family, with work, trying to take care of your own self. True. Um, True. You know, because you, you have to put yourself first. You have to put your family first. And sometimes friends are just the last person you get to connect with. And um, they just have to understand that, you know, life happens. And it's not an attack on them. It's just that you have to take care of home first. I totally agree. I I mean, that's well said. P, you want to add to that? Um, yes, you did ask what um, social connection is. Yeah. Well, social collect, co- sorry, connection to me is uh-huh. human interaction with one another. Yes. It's very important because as we grow older, like Chin said, we tend to, because we're busy in our day-to-day lives, we tend to not interact with one another like we're supposed to. But those interactions are very important. And when we lose touch of those interactions, what else do we have, right? So right now, we're having a social, we're having an interaction right now. We're having mm-hmm. a human. We're, this is real right now. It is. We're real. We're it live is. and direct. It we're is. in front of one another. So we're actually having this genuine, real connection with one another and in this digital age that we're living in it's very hard to have that because we don't know what's real from what is it yeah yeah no, it's true and that's very well said ladies i mean it's it's such a broad topic and you brought out such essential points and like you said we're having this real discussion and put priorities like chin mentioned real discussions like yeah. you mentioned and you know there's so much going on like you know when i think about being so socially unplugged, I just think about, you know, the the essence of really distancing each other, you know, from from a broad perspective. What I mean by that is like when you think about, you know, when you go out to a restaurant. Like right now, we're talking. Yes, we do have our phones, yeah. but we all made that commitment to put aside our phones, right? But when you go to like a restaurant or and you're having a, you know, you're expected to have a decent meal, but you end up finding that you know what, the meal may be good. But however, the communication is, I guess, not fully cooked, if I can, if I can use that terminology. And, and it just kind of ruins that momentum of why we even came on in the first place. You know, we haven't seen each other in a long time. Like, I'll be honest, this is my first time seeing Chin, you know what I mean, in the flesh. Mm-hmm. And she's just keeping it very organic, you know. And at P, like, we go back 20 years, but I haven't seen you in a minute. And, you know, for us to come together on this platform and really let people know about, you know, what really dwells within them or what dwells within us as human beings collectively when we deal with connecting with another because we're social creatures yes you know we do need communication you know and it's the way we go about doing it um you know we might we take different methods that may not be healthy for us especially mentally Mm -hmm. right so i mean speaking of that i i know we brought our notepads our tablets our phones (laughs) we have some questions we're gonna break down this topic you know we're gonna let the viewers know you know what I mean? And we're not going to do rock, paper, scissors because I think we're a little too grown for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jeez. You know what I mean? Chin had her fist ready for rock. Jeez. My hand is open as paper. You know what I mean? P has that peace sign as yeah, a scissors. Like, yeah, like, hey. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, you know, like basically, you know, P, I see you have quite some notes there. You want to dabble into that? Or how do oh, you Oh, my wanna... notes, um... This has to do with um our social media connection, right? Yes. So, as I was saying... The digital age has changed how we connect with one another. In the, I would say in the past 10 years, it has changed. Yes. So back in those days, the internet wasn't... It was, it was popular, but our phones didn't have all these features in there. So, and I believe Facebook true. just came about in 2004. Oh, the notes are in effect. The notes, yes. the notes are in effect. Listen, I'm going to say, <laughs> hey, social media has... It has some great purposes, but it does have a drawback on how we communicate with one another. The great thing about um, social media for me was I was able to reconnect with Chin off of Facebook. So if it wasn't for Facebook, I wouldn't have bunks up on Chin, to be honest with you. So, hey, thank you, Facebook. (laughs) (laughs) Everybody knows your name. But see, that's the thing. When Facebook first started, (laughs) that's what everyone was using it for, right? Reconnecting with with people that you haven't seen in years. And right after you connect with them, you would have been on the phone talking with them for like hours or can we meet up? 
But now it's like, I'll just send you a DM. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that is so true. Cut it short. You're right. You're right. You know what so, I mean? You're so right about that, Chin. So, and some of us use um, social media for a business connection. That's really, yeah. really great for that type of thing. Now, before I came off of Facebook, I had a bunch of users. Well, I say users. Is it? Followers, people, oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I didn't Sometimes know. stalkers. <laughs> That's true, you know. Some, yeah, yeah, you got that. <laughs> yes. Before I came off of Facebook, I went through the my friends list, I would say, and I didn't even know some of these people, mm. to be honest with you. Absolutely. And I realized that who are these people? And Facebook had just introduced, like, you know, that mutual friend thing. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. so if I know Chin, and because, Jay, you, you know me, you go... Pin chin and right. tag her as a friendship, you know, a friend. And then that wasn't genuine. What sort of connection is that? Because true. I have a mutual friend that you know. Yeah. That's sort of, you know, yeah, kind of, yeah, you know. It's true. <laughs> so I did something actually when I was in a car today. So I have 466 followers mm. that follow me on my Instagram. Mm-hmm. I follow 300 people, mm. right? All to that 300 people. I know 168 of those 300 people. Out of those 168 people, I genuinely have a real tight connection. I don't know if you guys would guess, but only eight. Only eight. <laughs> well, I was going to say 10, but... <laughs> I only have eight genuine connections. And when I mean tight, genuine connections, I mean where we talk. We may not talk on a daily basis, but you know, you know certain things about me. We can speak with one another. We gather on s- several occasions, occasions yeah. to yeah. link up to do certain things. And we talk, you know, frequently. Mm-hmm. I have eight connections, human, real connections with those people. That's stunning. Isn't that crazy? You, yeah, like that's what you call crunching. The, like Chin right now, she's kind of on her hands. She's just trying to remember. Well, Chris <laughs> had... She has more than I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> yeah, in, terms of, in terms of genuine connection, I'm sitting here counting on my one hand, and I don't think I reach five. Wow. Uh, yeah, that, it's, I, I'm, that's I'm serious. I mean, yes, yeah, some of the folks I went to school with, but do I talk to them on the phone? That's do I go point. out for dinner with yeah. them during the year? Like, I'm trying to reach to five. <laughs> <laughs> some no. of those some of those people included it was not most of my family it's probably like one or two because even though you talk to them you sometimes you're not really close with your family right you may true. be yeah. more close with your friends than you are with your family because yeah. you know family they're just they're humans right they yeah. tend to make a lot of mistakes that's right. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I'm looking at I'm looking at that mic just, like she had a yeah. genuine moment just now. Yeah, like, I did. It kind of hit me. I just realized this is a flashback. This is PG, so I can't, you know. <laughs> but it's true. The social house, you know, social media, it just changed everything. It did. It definitely changed everything, and it changed. Somewhat, some good, some bad, you know? Mm-hmm. But for us, on this connection level, it's pretty bad because social media have people being lonely. There's people out there with thousands of followers and thousands of people you follow, True. but how many real connection do you really have with these people? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. How do these people know when it's your birthday? Do these people know when you're crying? Do these people know when you're sad? Does these people know certain things about your life? You know? Yeah. No, they don't. They only know until you post it and you let them know. You know what I'm saying? They true. don't know. Very true. Well, that's what social media has turned into now. I think it was originally created for us to connect. That's right. But now social media has turned into this place like, as you were just saying, do they know when you're crying? Now they do, because now you post it. Yeah. Do they know when you're in a new it's, relationship? It's now they do, because you just post it. Do they know when you broke up with that guy? Yes, they do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and people have now confused that and think that's a connection. That's yeah. not a connection. Because once you're off that platform, because whenever you do put down your phone, you're by yourself. That's right. And you're extremely lonely. You know what yeah, I'm saying? At true. some point, you're going to miss that human connection. So, you know, you just have to, you have to pick a balance. 
You look, you know, very well said, ladies. I mean, it's it's such a, it's very, like it's very like broad in the sense of how you examine the whole issue. Like social yeah. media, there's so much, like you said, like you were crunching the numbers there. I mean, I felt like I was in math, <laughs> math class for a minute. I I, know. I had to. I just wanted yeah. to know how much real connection I really have. I know I know my number is very small. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And even down to that eight people. Just probably a little smaller number yeah. in that thing where I could, you know, count on those. But those eight people are in my life on a regular basis, you know? Yeah, absolutely. But it's important to know that number because that's a reality check. Like, hey, hey, what are we really doing out there? You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that, you know what? You ladies just stimulated a question I wanted to bring up for all three of us. And it's basically... I have so much, I don't know where to start. <laughs> uh, Start with the easiest one, yeah? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday. It's like Sunday. It's Sunday. Yeah, you don't know. First day of the week. All right, let's get it. We just pushed through some snow. <laughs> <laughs> but it kind of makes you think, because, like, having this discussion with UP and Yuchin, I mean, ladies, it kind of brings you back to, like, what happened to those good old days, you know, where we used to go outside and kick it with music, jokes, and even share stories with one another, man. You know, it's just, what happened to those days? It feels like those days are just... What, they're buried? Yes, like, with digital age, buried. Mm, Even it, well, my son, hey, I ain't gonna lie, he's on the YouTube, Roadblocks, I think there's Fortnite. Mm -hmm. There's lots of stuff happening. So that's very entertaining to these kids right now. It is. And they're missing out a lot on actual, like, you know how, actual things on life, like, like learning sunlight. how to... <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Look. what's that bright thing in the sky? It's hitting me real hot. <laughs> <laughs> how can I say? They're learning how they're missing out on a part of their lives what's actually going to teach them things that they need to know. So whether mm -hmm. it be to, you know, how they can help themselves cook, wash clothes, you know, the essentials that you need in life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're missing out on that. Because growing up, we didn't have that. I was outside sweeping yard, you understand? <laughs> you understand? And when the old lady calls, she people down the arm. You know them? They have the curtain, and they have the half curtain. <laughs> Crystal balling, and I way down the road, and I coming up. You know, so they're missing out on these things, the simple things in life that makes us human, and how yeah. you know the, the essentials that we need to live. You know, when we're we can't ask Google. So uh, let's just say, if the internet was to go down. Or we have a, a crisis. This generation will be in trouble. Oh, a lot of people, a lot true. of people, the first thing they'll be doing is looking at their phone. <laughs> Google ain't going to help you because you can't ask Google how to make a fire. Mm -hmm. You definitely can't ask Google how to build a shelter. These are things that we should know how to do. You know what I'm saying? True. Each and every human, once we're living, we should know how to do these things. In case these problems ever arise, we know how to fend for ourselves. And because sure. we're in this digital world, and your kids are in it too, my son is in it, I'm not going to lie, mm -hmm. they miss out in that, that part of life, you know? Yeah. I don't know. For me, because I grew up in Jamaica until I was about 9, 10, and for me, what I always used to look forward to is coming home from school. Because in Jamaica, you had two shifts mm -hmm. in school. You had your morning shift, and you'd be finished by 12. Yeah. And then you had your evening shift, and you're finished at 5. Yeah. I hated evening shift. Because <laughs> by the time you get home, it's dark. Yeah. And nobody's playing outside. That's yes, right. <laughs> so you come home, and it's like straight inside schoolwork, and you're done for the day. Like, where's the day? Yep. I love morning shift because you come home, you know, the kids are out in the street. You go change out of your uniform. You, you know, your parents ask you, did you do your homework? Yeah. No, you didn't. Because you want to go outside and play. <laughs> like, true. you know what I'm saying? Who want to be stuck up in a book right now? Yeah, you sorry, go outside. <laughs> sorry. You know, you go outside. You're playing with your cousins, your neighbors. You know, you're out there for hours and the streets were lively. Yeah. Streets were lively. Hours later, you hear parents coming from each angle calling for their child and everyone's looking at each other like your mama's calling you no your mama's calling you you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nobody wants to go in because you're having so much fun now you walk down these streets and it's dead yeah there's nobody out yeah nobody's no parents are out no kids are mm -hmm. out nobody's doing anything true and it's like how 
Like, why, why is that <laughs> happening? When you go inside the homes now, everyone is plugged in yep. to a console. Mm-hmm. That's right. Everyone has a tablet in their hand, you know? And it's like, oh, that's where you are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm inside in my bed under my blanket. Yeah. You know, like, that's where you are. We know where, where they are. are. Yeah, and even like... some games that we used to play as kids is like, you know, I, I don't know what they're called now, but... um. I guess you see them in warehouses where they'll put like the boxes and stuff on those wooded um, planks that's used like under the those sleds. Are you sleds? talking about the um? Is it sleds? Oh, the skids you're talking skids. about. Skids, yeah. So we used to have like skids, and we used to use them to make houses and stuff. So it's like. We used to do all yeah, different kind of cart. things. Box cart. Making your box cars. Yeah, yeah, that like, was you know fun, what I'm yeah. saying? Marbles. I used to love marbles. Dust a man in marbles, yes? Absolutely. Take away <laughs> that marble. You know, you're learning essential skills. As sure. per se, if something is supposed to happen, like, mm-hmm. would you know how to make a fire? Would you know sure. how to make a, a makeshift shelter, you know, for the night? Yeah. You know, a lot of these kids wouldn't know how to do it because they have to go on YouTube. Yeah. YouTube, how do you make... YouTube, how do you? <laughs> yeah. You know, so YouTube and Google is 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 the is, we're is down, the, yeah. we're down. You know, it's and true. even is, is for the me, real deal. sometimes like in these times now, I find myself I'm like, um, Siri. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I could have, I could admit it. Come on, it happens. It gets you know, the best of us sometimes. <laughs> Am I really asking a computer how to do something that I already know how to do, but because I'm lazy? Mm. And that's the thing. People have become so lazy and so accustomed to a computer making decisions for you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I laugh. I laugh. I laugh because there's a possibility that that could all go down the drain. And what do we have? You have As to a human, back right? to the old ways. Yeah, but a lot of us would not know how to do that. No. Yeah. And it's hard to do because if technology breaks down, it's hard to show tutorial, uh, tutorials. So, Once the bank will take away know, my I mean, money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I love the storylines because you know I heard how it was for UP in Trinidad. You know, Chin, you in Jamaica, me, like, I feel kind of distant right now because I was born and raised in Canada, but mm. I know we... <laughs> oh, no, no, lucky no. life. You wasn't, you wasn't making up your bed. You wasn't ironing your uniform. No, I was like, not. What, what, you what, wasn't what, waking what? up 7 o'clock in the morning. Could have wash um, fall cub. No, eh? no, no. All right, then. We're, we're, we're having like a, oh, dear child, things are going to get easier. <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy. No, I was not doing that, ladies. I'll be honest. Um, I was more like I did. You know, this, you know how we used to play, like you know the whole skipping rope with mm-hmm. the girls yeah, and the guys, yeah. the hops. We we did all these things. I mean, growing up, like, we used to play baseball. We didn't have a baseball bat, so we used to take like a wood piece and like with a can, and we used to play baseball with that. Like I mean, the thing is, we didn't have much, but we utilized what we yeah. had outside. And we were Absolutely. just, we were getting our exercise. Definitely, yeah. we, we knew what that big ball was in the sky called the sun. I mean, we knew, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? It, it was fun. It was interactive. And it feels like those days are like diminishing to the point yeah. they're not even like, even noticeable. No. Right? No. So it, it, it's, it's crazy. Those it's, were the good old days. Jesus. The only interaction kids have <laughs> these days is. It's true. Parents paying for after school activities. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. You have to pay for that. We did not pay nothing. You it was completely were... free. Yeah. And as you say, I like, like that word free. We didn't have a. I, we love the word free. Capital free. You know hey. what I'm saying? Like we didn't have to go to the store to go buy a bat. We didn't have to go to the store to go buy a ball true. or a car. We made it. Yep. Or you know, we saw something. We're like, oh, we can use this. There yep. is no money spent. Just give us some money for food. True. <laughs> Feed us. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> It's so true. It's so true. Like, I mean, like I said, like, that's just genuine feedback. And I know our listeners uh, absorbing what we're saying is they can relate. Maybe some of them can't. But this is one thing about the show is it brings different perspectives yes. on the topic that anyone can speak on. Mm-hmm. You know, and speaking of topics, I had another one. What technology is going on today? You know, do you think it brings us like I'm a digital marketer? OK. And I have actually connected with uh, a lot of friends from all over the globe. But at the same time, going back to what you were saying, P and Chin, about just the the really social 
gather like even though i may have like maybe in the <coughs> thousands of people <laughs> on my friends list how much people do i really engage with mm-hmm. like just not to talk about business wise but life so with that being said i want to ask you ladies something to think about is does technology bring us more further from one another or closer when you think about how it's being used today mm, that's interesting that's a tough one yeah I would, to be honest with you, technology has made us closer, especially for our loved ones who are distant. Yes. I'm not going to lie. You know, WhatsApp was one of those things. You, now the people them can't send you, please send me a credit. <laughs> Text, you understand? Now they're just calling you on WhatsApp. <laughs> for all our international users, that's all on P. We still love y'all, but that's all on P. No, no, no. no this, for our people, pe- people down in the Caribbean, they know what we're talking about. Please, text please call me. me. Please call me. Please send credit. We, that's when they don't have no money, but their their phone provider is very nice and give them a little text to send it to the people them. A free text. Okay. Yes. Um, in that sense, it has made us connect with our loved ones yeah. on a daily basis. Yeah. Some of them you don't want to connect with, you know? But, you know, they allow you to connect on that. on that. And then the other half is like, you, you're into digital marketing, yes. your business and stuff like that. It's allow, it allows you to globally yeah. connect with whoever you want to, you know? Sure. That's, that's a good thing. Because, yeah, you need to, you're marketing out there, so you need to get out there. And, hey, you don't want to be stuck in Toronto. You could be stuck <laughs> anywhere in the world. You could go anywhere, you know? So it's 50-50 for me, yeah. you know? It's good to reconnect with your family because it makes you more closer with them and your loved ones. Say your husband is working in Dubai, you know? You're able to talk to him frequently, mm-hmm. you know? Yep. And it allows you to, for business, it allows you to connect with people globally sure. without being in the same room you know but you can talk with them you can actually see them you, you know there's so many ways of connecting with people on the digital platform yeah sure it does you know um i don't know if you guys follow tammy roman on oh she's funny the bonnet chronicles yeah the bonnet cr- i love her yeah on instagram yeah she's hilarious what? jay what? is like who what where when who what where, where am i <laughs> No, she, 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 yeah, 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 she, she's a crack. I love her, yeah. Tammy is hilarious. She has this, um, Instagram account that's called the Bonnet Chronicles. Okay. And so she wears her bonnet and she comes out with these stories, little dialogues for a minute and she's going really quick at it. Hmm. And this week she posted one and... Because Jay doesn't swear, I'm not going to say how she started out the monologue. I sure appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate but she was like, that, dear Jim. Girl, you know, she was, about like, the children. <laughs> she was like, um, it was almost like, you know, I guess people were reaching out to her and saying, like, you're not connecting with me. And mm-hmm. she was like, well, girl, didn't I send you a text? Didn't I say how you doing? Mm-hmm. Didn't I send you an emoji waving at you? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, is that not enough? Mm-hmm. You know, and I chuckled. <laughs> I giggled. And then I lol for real. And I was like, that's kind of like myself. Mm-hmm. You know, back in the day, I used to sit on the phone with people for hours. Mm-hmm. You know, before there was cell phones, I used to be on the house phone for hours till my mom pick up the phone, be eavesdropping into my conversation. Like, chin, you not coming off the phone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You falling asleep with the phone at the ear. Like, I know we've all done that. Falling asleep yeah. with the Guilty. phone. Right? Yep. And now, try to get me on the phone. Mm. <laughs> I think the only person I sit on chat on the phone with is this girl sitting right yeah, next to me. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Real story, right? Real now. truth. When we really need to reconnect, yeah, and we can't see one another, yeah, yeah. we just touch base. And if we're not talking Beautiful. on the phone, we might send a voice note here and there or a text. But just to check up on one another. I yeah. don't mm-hmm. use voice call. <laughs> I really don't. Like, and sometimes you know, people will call me and they're like, "Chin," they'll send me like a message on either Instagram or whatever, and they're like, "I called you the other day." I'm like, "Yeah." You did. You know, and it's not, it's not that. And I'm, and I'm reading the message and I'm like, 
damn, like, I don't want them to think that I'm ignoring them or that I don't want to call them. But it's like, for me, it's like, do you know how hard it is for me to pick up my phone and call and sit on the phone and be like, hey, girl, so how you doing? Like, what's popping? You know what I'm saying? With a text, I can just tell you what I want to tell you. Yeah. You respond how you need to respond. Yeah. And the conversation is done. Simple. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. that's how I look at it. But they're looking at it from a different perspective. Like, they want to connect. They want to talk. They want to, like, unload whatever it is that they're going through that day. And I'm like, I don't have all that time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't have all that time to sit on the phone with you for hours like I used to. Yeah. You know, there's a little off chance you might catch me where I could sit on the phone with you for an hour or two. But that's probably, like, twice a year. <laughs> first I, come first should serve. I consider myself lucky then but yeah Ch Chin is more of a texter Chin yeah. is definitely more I of am. a texter I need to confirm things yeah. through a voice because I know it's legit yeah. I don't know about yeah you text me you text me but I'm like yo let me just get that confirm alright confirm <laughs> <laughs> copy I know it's hard and even last, this week I was thinking about it and I'm like you know there's a few people who I should actually like, pick up the phone and call them Mm -hmm. And say, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Right? And then I'm like, wait, phone kind of work both ways. Yeah. You know? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a two-way street. I'm like, it's it a works two -way both street. ways. Yeah. And then the next like thing that pops in my head and I'm like, maybe they're saying I'm not calling her. Because how many times have I called her and she don't pick up the phone? Mm. You know what I'm saying? True. So like, I keep having those back and forth conversations with myself. But then I'm like... If you're genuinely someone who I connect with, yeah. you understand why I'm True. not on my yeah. phone constantly, right? Yeah. So I'm like, I just leave it there and hopefully you're not picking up some sort of bad energy or feel like I don't want to connect with you because I have a problem with you, but yeah. you understand why I don't do the, <laughs> the voice calls. <laughs> it, it's so true. And you know what I will say? Because you struck a nerve. So Jamal, if you're listening... Jamal, I, come through. I'm not calling you until I get my 20 bucks back. You know, oh. I'm just letting you roll right now. I'm Jamal, not. <laughs> Jamal, if we don't get that $20 by next week, we add in tax. Jeez, <laughs> you heard it first. The taxes come to Chin and Pete. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy because, I, you know, you struck so many points and nerves. You know, it kind of generated into a next question, time. You know, sometimes what... The whole social connection, you know, like you said, we don't have that time like we used to. Like, you used to be on the phone with hours. I, be, I used to be on the phone with hours. Yeah. I think, P, back in high school, we spent yes. a lot of time on the phone. But now, because time is like, it waits for no one, you mm -hmm. know, we think about it as we get older, we don't have that much time. So sometimes we have to send a text or a quick voice note, whatever that case may be. And people take offense to that. You know, a lot of people have a lot of time on their hands, and some people don't. So my question is, when you think about uh, the connection, do you think time plays a significant role? You know, because I mean? there's time where I want to spend time uh, interacting with people, but I just don't have the time, so I have to send them a text. And sometimes the text, actually, I can't say sometimes. For me, a lot of time, the text will convey the wrong message, as in, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just going to send you this, hey, how are you, uh, just for the sake, because I really don't want to talk to you, and, which it's not my motive. It's just I don't have that much time. So, ladies, have you gone through that? And listeners, you know, feel free to comment afterwards. You know, we want to get your feedback as well. But P and Chin, like, time, how does it play a role? Well, to be honest with me, mm -hmm. hear me, me. To be honest with me? To be honest with yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me be, be honest, honest with myself. Let me be honest with myself right That's the five. That's the five. No, I thought about that just for a second there. Um, who do I really... Uh, Reconnect with Chin. Chin pregnant, so ain't much like ain't much time. She ain't got no time, and I'm busy right now. <laughs> but you're right about that. Um, we um, our time as we get older because we're so we have our jobs. Yeah. We have family to take care of. Yes. We may have uh, your you know your elderly grandmother. We just have things going on, and priority is you want to make sure that your house is good. You know what I'm saying? This goes mm -hmm. back to what you were saying. So you got to make sure your house is good. Yeah. Your foundation is set good. Because yeah. ain't nobody checking your foundation for you. You got to make sure them structures are well mm -hmm. there. When that storm comes, it's holding up really good. So Very true. people have to mm -hmm. understand and realize that, yes, 
I may be a single person, I don't have no kids, but my virgin have three kids. She, of course, she may not have time for me, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. she has her family to take care of and I should be understanding about that, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And sometimes when you're busy, it so happens to be when you're busy, your friend is not busy with you. It's, it's strange mm -hmm. like that. Jeez. And sometimes you could be busy together and yeah. you just don't have time for one another. So true. But life still goes on and it doesn't mean that, you know, I'm not there for you. It just means that we're just busy making progress in our life, important progress, good steps, healing ourselves, making money for our family, for mm -hmm. yourselves, doing good things in life. It doesn't mean that we're out there talking to, you know, I'm hanging out with another friend. It you doesn't mean like friend. that, you know, yeah. but people, idle. Yeah, yeah, people think that, you know, you don't connect with them and they just have thoughts up in the head, random thoughts, Human thoughts nature. that just, you know, keeps on, you know, why is this person thing? why is this yeah. and yeah. this and that, you know, so you just have to, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you just yeah. have to relax. It's just yeah. a process. Sometimes, yes, we are busy. Yes, we do choose to make time for what we want, but sometimes our time is so limited and on, to be honest with you, you work eight days. Eight. I'm sorry. You. Oof, some people. I, some, some, oh, <laughs> oh, man, I meant one. to say. I meant Hold to say. On. I know there are seven days, but tell me when did the eighth <laughs> one was added? Sorry, I had. <laughs> <laughs> does this ever happen to you? Where it does. You, it it you, does. I meant it's eight hours, and yes. I don't know where the days. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This is real good. <laughs> we're gonna get Pete some rest right after the show. Right after the show, we're gonna get her some rest. I, I do need some rest, but um, <laughs> you work eight hours mm -hmm. per day some people work longer More, yeah. yes, sure. you know and when you come home for me personally when I come home I gotta I prepare lunch and dinner for the next day because yeah. that's how it goes in my household you know mm -hmm. so I gotta make sure those things are done before I do any other thing mm -hmm. sometimes I have some house chores to do yeah. so I do that but I don't even have time for myself when I'm finished because mm -hmm. it's time to go to bed yeah. It's time to re up and it's time to. And you didn't even mention your son yet. So, you know, it's time, what I'm it's, it's time, yeah. it's, it's time to re up and it's time to, you know, go to sleep and get yourself ready for the process again, yeah. you know? And the only downtime I may have is on the weekends. Huh? What am I doing on the weekends? Laundry and house chores. It seems to be a task right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you, your priorities are different. I'm not 20 anymore where I, you know, don't have no family. I could just be hanging out, doing nothing, you know. Yeah. Not saying that I wasn't productive on 20, but, you know, you have more little free time. But, you know, as you move on in life, you're bri breezy because you're planning up for your retirement yeah. and setting yourself for your life in the old days. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's a very good point, babe. Shit. I, um... <laughs> a friend of mine on her WhatsApp story yeah. had a meme, and once again, I won't be, you know, okay. mentioning some of the stuff in the meme because Brother Jay don't use profanity. Man, they're making me feel like a saint, but I like you it know, though. you know. But the meme was basically saying, um, for so long I wanted to be older so I could, you know, do extracurricular activities. <clears throat> <laughs> for, the gr for the grown folks, you know what I mean? You know, and, and go out clubbing, mm -hmm. but I didn't sign up for bills and. <laughs> Welcome didn't to adult right? life. I Jeez, didn't sign up 101. for bills, you know what I'm saying? And it's True. like, yeah, really and truly, because I know when I was younger, I couldn't wait to reach 19, right? Because yep. everybody was going to the club. And you know, going to the club that mean you're 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 drinking yeah. legally, <laughs> right? So yeah. it's like I couldn't wait to get older. So when I was in my twenties, you know, I was living it up. I was yeah. having fun. I was used to hear my mom in the background like, "You going out again? Mm -hmm. You going out again? <laughs> you buying a new pair of shoes? You going out again?" And it's like, yeah, yeah, I am going out again. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, isn't this what it's about? Yeah. But now, it's like, can I go out, please? Even if it's like <laughs> once for the year, can I please go out? Can I do something? Oh, but yeah. you don't have the time. It's true. You know? And I, I know a couple of times, like, P and I have had conversations. And it's in regards to, even though we don't connect all the time, mm -hmm. 
when we do connect, it's mm-hmm. like there isn't a gap. Yeah. There isn't a gap, you know, mm-hmm. because there is that genuine connection. And so mm-hmm. for her and I, if we don't speak for a month, I'm not sitting at home be like, hmm, so I has not pee call mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. what's she doing? Did she find a new friend? Did she replace me? And if I see her on social media doing something, I'm not sitting at home be like, so oh, she I went out with her, mm-hmm. she didn't mm-hmm. call me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'm not stressing it like that, right? Yeah. And then I have another group of friends. Hey, girls. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out. Throw some names out there. Throw some names out there. Hey, Sushi. <laughs> you know, I have another group of girlfriends where they're, they're business women. You know, yeah. they're working. One, she, she's working and she's also going to school at the same time. Yeah. Um, girl, I hope you're in that books right now. Exam is coming up on the 22nd. Get that um, education on. <laughs> you know, and so we still try to connect, mm-hmm. but at least maybe probably about four times for the year or so, we'll try to do a dinner. Yeah. You know, like we'll set up like we're doing a dinner. So we, today might be what? What's today's date? January the 27th. And be like, okay, on March 23rd, keep your calendar open. We're going out for dinner. Yeah. You know? So we know we have that date set. We'll go out. You know, we'll eat for hours. And we're sitting in the restaurant and the waiters are looking at us like, we're closed. Yeah. <laughs> we're closed. Like, are you ladies leaving? And we're like, oh, so can we go to the next spot? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's how we connect with each other. Yeah. Like, we don't see each other often. We don't talk on the phone often. But we still keep and connect mm-hmm. where we still know what's happening with each other. Yeah. We still know how the family is, is doing. If there's some emergency in the family, we know what's happening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we don't see each other all the time. And I think, I know some people have the misconception where, no, you guys talk all the time. You mm-hmm. guys hang out all the time. And it's like, no. Today is what? I just said the date, January 20th. Pregnancy brain. Pregnancy brain people. <laughs> the 27th. I don't remember. Today's the 27th. You know, today's the 27th of January. <laughs> and today's the first time I'm seeing P for the new year. Wow. But people will think I see her all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't. Because of the bond and the closest you yeah. have together. Yeah. Right? Okay. We yeah. don't see each other. And we don't live, what, 20 minutes yeah. away from each other? Yeah. Growing up. <laughs> growing up, I'm going to tell you. Growing up, Chin and I, we lived on the same street. So Chin lived closer to um, Lansdowne, a street called St. Clarence, and I lived a little up closer to Wallace and St. Clarence. Yeah. And true, yeah, I used to ride down to Chin's place and drop tomatoes for you. Remember those days? Yeah. yeah? yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yo, for Auntie and you, you know? Chris and just, we, the tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. We're, just, we're not far apart, but we're just right there, you know? I, you know, for you, Jay, it's the same thing. I have that same connection with you, too. Yeah. We don't talk often, and we don't see one another often. But when we do see one another, we reconnect. And it's right where we left off. And I like that. Yeah, it's true. With Chin, you, too, I, I like that. I think you, you've told me that, and I've told you that several times. Mm-hmm. I knew when we reconnected on Facebook, off of Facebook, yeah. that, yo, know, Chin is still the same old Chin I know. She's yeah. grown as, you know, into an adult. But of course. Yo, we never left like yo. Yeah. We yeah. we missed out our whole high school. We never went to the same high school. So that, you know, sometimes you're so close with one another in middle school, but you go through high school and you become friends with other people and you have closer connections. Yeah. But yo, when we hit it off, we hit it off right like yo, we never left down yeah. in St. Clarence, right? That's what's yeah, yeah. cuz even to this day, you you <laughs> fuck up with people that you went to school with, right? Yeah. That you know, we all went to school with and you think like, "Oh no, we'll link up and no, it'll be the same energy, the same vibe, because we never nah. left off on any bad energy. Mm-hmm. And you see the friend, and the friend is like, walking past you like they don't see you, oh, like they don't I even know. know your name. Yeah. But then they'll come on social media, okay? Yeah. They'll come on social. They saw you in person. Can, wait, can I get that keyword again? Keyword. Mm-hmm. Social media. There we go. All okay, right. they see you in person and they pass you by, like they don't know you. Mm. They come on social media. <laughs> Girl, get them, back, get them emoji eyes out, okay? They come on social media and they're in your DMs. Hey, girl, how you doing? It's been so long. Human like, nature. Heffa, did you not just see me yesterday? You passed me by. Oh, that was you? Nah, listen, oh, wow, wow. listen, oh, girl. Banching off, banching off, banching off. You want to explode here. But you know, like, so, so that's the thing, like, 
not everybody you're gonna have that connection with. Yeah. You know what I'm so saying? True, true. But true. people feel so. I don't know what it is, but people feel braver on social media. Oh, they like are internet gangsters and. You know, we have a whole <laughs> lot of internet gangsters. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's right. They're more open to express themselves on a digital platform yeah. than they are face to face. So it's very hard when you want to say something to a person face to face. It's sure. very easy to say it over the phone or, you know, mm-hmm. it depends what the message is. Mm-hmm. But, you know, or through text. That's very easy. But when you're actually in front of the person, what happens? You start to sweat. Uh, 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 the stuttering. It's like the Elmer Fudd. Is it yeah. Elmer Fudd? Is it Elmer Fudd? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's true. It's true. <laughs> we are having way too much fun out here. So, that, that, that is a problem. That's a big that, problem. That, 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 because these people would may confront you on a social platform, but yeah. in real life, when you bunks them up, they ain't, they ain't coming after you. No, They'll stay in the lane. That's right. Because right. they know what time it is because they can't approach you. Yeah. They cannot approach you face to face because all we have is that digital connection and it's easy for anybody to express themselves on that platform. You know, just to touch on something, but as we're saying, people have more confidence behind a keyboard. I find that, especially nowadays in relationships. Yeah. There, y'all be sitting in the same room together with your partner, and there's no dialogue. They will leave the house, sure, or yeah. you know, happens, yeah. and you're getting like loads of text messages. And you're point. like, great point. Wait a minute, were we not just sitting on the same couch <laughs> yeah, together? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like two strangers, but now here you are on the street. It's I'm true. getting phone calls. I love you. Ooh, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's is this the time that we're now in where even in relationships... We're just distance. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, so, yeah, we people really have to find a way to come back to the original settings. You need to go on default settings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. You need to it's unplug. True. It's true. Unplug from yes. social... It's good to unplug from social media. It is. And that digital platform for a good while, it would honestly, you would learn a lot about yourself and mm-hmm. a lot about other people too. I definitely, it's so true. And, and I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because you, you really touch on a great point as well, P, about um, just unplugging from social media because I want to share a story with you ladies mm-hmm. and um, the listeners uh, pertaining to this topic here. Uh, I have a good friend of mine. We used to go to a particular church service together mm-hmm. and he suffers from depression. And I remember we were talking, and I got so caught up with social media. You know, as a digital marketer, it's part of my the nature of the business. And um, he was reaching out to me. He's like, hey, man, do you have time? I'm like, man, not right now. I got, like, emails to send out. I got, um, you know, designs to make. I don't have the time. You know what I mean? But I would, I'll definitely get back to you soon. You know, that time soon becomes two weeks later, a month later. Then I get a text from him. Almost like almost two months. Yeah, man. Um, just want to let you know I was in the hospital. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, is everything okay? He's like, oh, no, nah, man. I was just like, you know, I had some, you know, sui- suicidal thoughts. And uh, he was like cutting himself. Mm-hmm. And um, that really made me think because um, this brother, I'm not, and I'm not trying to exalt myself at all, but I always been there for this brother. Mm-hmm. And it's like when you have that friend, you know, that you consider like a brother or sister. And they rely on you for, like, comfort or just to be there, just to hear mm-hmm. um, yeah. the individual out. You know, I mean, that takes, it, it takes a lot of um, significance to be there for them. And I just lost touch with reality because I was so caught up with social media, uh, how my sales are going, um, how my team is doing. And I just forgot about, is this really life? I mean, we're just, I just... Like, he's, he's, he's always been there for me. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I've been there for him. And, I mean, yeah, this, this whole social um, connection, like, just keeping your mind on social media, it really, really opened my eyes to this situation. And, you know, I could have lost him. He could have lost his life. And this is something that, you know, I, t- I take to heart. And I think um, I'm not the only one who's experienced that. I'm pretty sure we all know someone yeah. close to us or we know someone who knows someone. That is going through something like that. So when you, when you go back to the essence of time, 
you know, we should value time in regards to the important things. Social media, mm-hmm. it plays a significant role, like you said, P and Chin. We are living in a digital yes. era. But at the end of the day, you got to think about what's the real essence of communication. And it's this face-to-face interaction. Like, we're seeing each other. We could have did this. Well, let's be honest. We did try this yes. over the internet, and it, it just didn't turn out. But you can see it's, it's more efficient here. And we're getting yeah. more genuine laughs, you know what I mean? Um, more genuine facial expressions. It's just, it's more realistic and it's more, uh, more intimate um, to communicate with one another face to face. And like you lady said earlier, you know, it's easy to say something over line, online, yes. but when you're face to face, I mean, it's more genuine, it's mm-hmm. more authentic, and it's just more truthful. And like, I just want to share that for all the listeners and for you ladies. I mean, value time. I know you ladies do, but just as a refresher, I had to learn to value time and value your friendship. You know, especially being there for your friend. And not just sending a text online or through the phone. Yes. Actually, if, if you guys are even in the same country, possible, just to meet up with one another. You know, because, I mean, that, that means a lot. You know what I mean? And, yeah, I, I definitely, it was a reality check and it was a wake-up call for me. So I just will definitely uh, take that on moving forward as we speak. Yeah, it's just, I guess, finding that balance, right? Yeah. Yeah, life is about balance indeed. Yeah. And time waits on no one. And mm-hmm. if, if, sure. our, if, our, if our mistakes, or I call them life lessons, are yes. being repeated, mm-hmm. that's, uh, that's your time and your cue to change something about it. It's true. Time, time is very important because it is. it is limited for us on this earth. Exactly. You know, and that kind of brings us to the next question. Are we abusing our cell phones. I know we were, we were actually, for the viewers and listeners, we were actually on the phone last night having a topic about a particular discussion and it involved the cell phone. And when you think about the cell phone, you, it's funny how cell phones come out very fast when events occur. Mm-hmm. So, are we? Oh, 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 there you go. <laughs> I'm not buying another phone. Jeez, you understand? Enough. 14 is enough, right, Pete? <laughs> Let me just tell you something here. Why is my phone costing an um, all-inclusive trip? Why is it so expensive? <laughs> we, we could go have drinks in DR or Cuba. Where else? Jamaica. Jamaica with some Escovitch fish. Yes. Some festival. Yes. Some Bami. Yes. And some red stripe beer. Yes. All of that, she said. Mm. And it's interesting because it's like cold out here in Toronto, so we're just having a reflective <laughs> moment right now. But it's all love because, like I said, we're bringing the heat inside this podcast. It's amazing. But ladies, like, seriously, the phone. When you think about um, the, is, are we over abusing the usage of our phone for recording things, trying to get that, trying to justify situations, or are we just going into, I guess, more being more curious or controversial? How do you think that we're often approaching when we take out our phones, when we see situations and circumstances? I think people want to break the next big story. <laughs> mm-hmm. Tonight on 15, 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, 15 thing. minutes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that, That's what popping out the phone is for. And yes, it's good in some instances where, especially in the last couple of years where we've had like, Quite a lot of police brutality. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, definitely. It's been great that they were able to capture those moments, that yeah. we we're able to see them. Because mm-hmm. it's not like it just started to happen. Yeah. It's just that mm-hmm. now we have the phones where people are capturing it, yeah. and we can now see it. Um, not that by us seeing it doesn't mean that there's any justice from it, but that's another topic. That's very true. <laughs> that's another topic Stay for tuned. another day. Stay tuned. Um, but, you know, it, it's good in those instances. But then there's moments where people should put the phone away and reach out to someone and be like, hey, can I help you? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of holding up the phone. I've seen videos where someone's got not... I used to love to watch fight videos. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I go through my moments, okay? Now I'm on to road rage. But I... <laughs> Yeah, you like the road rage? I yeah. do. Oh my goodness. YouTube oh my has gosh. me with the road rage videos. Hilarious. He let her us. I'm looking at Chin right now. I'm like, I'm stunned. My eyes are like you wide like open. I can send you some videos. Don't send me none of those videos. They're hilarious. <laughs> I can night. imagine the people's facial expression. That's what you're laughing over? 
their expression and the things that they say during the moments and the things that they actually do during oh the road rage. I'm like, I'm learning more about you right now. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I was bad just by honking the horn. I'm like, I'm like at level one right now. Y'all Jeez. at level ten, but um, <laughs> you know, I used to watch fight videos. Yeah, and people be like. Knocked out, like got a solid punch in the, in the left <laughs> eardrum, and Jeez. you know they're passed out on the <laughs> floor, over, yeah. you know, and they're like seizuring on the floor, yeah. right? And wow. I'll now know and then say call nine one one. The phone is still out. It's the like, phone okay, is get still more out, or they're in front. They're like leaned over this person's body with the phone in their face, and they're wow. recording. Yep. And then you hear world star. <laughs> Because Comedy. that's where yeah. it's going to end up, on yeah. Worldstar, right? Yeah. That's where everybody wants their video to be posted. And instead of you say, hey, let me just put the phone away and check if this person's okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Probably. people don't do that anymore. We're so inclined to just recording, posting. You're not thinking. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like People are not thinking about the consequences of what they're doing or for the person's safety. They're just thinking like, I'm going to post this to my 500 people who really and truly only have connections with eight of them. Yep. <laughs> uh, that, is that number sounds familiar? That's, that's me right there. <laughs> Chris, what you be posting, girl? I know, girl. You know, and, and, and that's what phones have has become yeah. to me personally but keep posting the road rage i like those ones <laughs> keep them coming <laughs> it, 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 it's crazy it is crazy i mean like you said there's so much things being posted and you know it's a lot of it's really out of our control like once you post it yes it goes viral mm-hmm. so fast i mean you know you post it and you might think in five minutes you know what Maybe I shouldn't have posted that. I'm going to delete it. You can't take it, it down. Yeah. No, guess what? You can go and delete that. But within that five minutes, it's... 10 people have already reposted it. Yeah, it's already it. circulating. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And 10 more people repost it. And then by the time, if you put a hashtag to it, forget oh, the hashtag. Man. That's good marketing You know what right I'm saying? There. You click on the <laughs> hashtag and then you see there's a thousand posts and you're like, damn, I only posted that five minutes ago. I wanted to delete <laughs> it. But now it's everywhere. True. You can't go to each of those people and be like, I'm sorry, but I posted that by accident. Can you delete that for me? Uh, nah, girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's generating me views. Yeah. True. You know what I'm saying? So. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving the feedback, Chin. P, what's your take on that? Um, I'm I'm down for what Chin is saying. Um, I'm gonna add something else too. Mm-hmm. Um, our phones have become a distraction in our lives, Ooh, yes. right? Yep. So, okay, our phones, for some people, are like best friends. Best friends. They got all their good information in there. If you want to know about somebody, it's in there. All my screenshots. All all your bank info, it's in that that phone. So that, that phone has become your friend. That phone has become somebody, like a human. But it ain't no human. It's just a phone that you plug in and... The, the socket there to charge up and that's what it is but it has a whole bunch of key info mm-hmm. yeah. and our phone is distracting us from what's really really happening in this world yeah. so for instance we're going out like Chin say we're filming stuff but we're not being aware of what's happening around us because we're so in tune in our phone and doing whatever. Just for instance, somebody could come and do something to you or run up from you from behind or put something in your drink without you knowing because you're so distracted by this phone and doing something that your guard is down. When your guard is down, mistakes happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. And sometimes Very true. you pay a price for certain mistakes that would happen, especially if you're out and about and you're filming not everything we need to to film you know what i'm saying yes some things we do because that's how we see certain things Mm -hmm. and it's not like these things weren't happening they've been happening but since we all have a phone we're just seeing them on real time and we're seeing them a lot you know Mm -hmm. so we're just distracted by our phones and that allows us to have our guard down and a lot of other outside things happen to us you know influences from yeah. outside influences happen to to our to ourselves you know it doesn't matter you're on the phone we're not supposed to be driving 
and talking and texting, mm -hmm. but some people do it, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That's a distraction. Yeah. You know, are, you, are you guilty of that? Are you... <laughs> no. Don't incriminate Jen, yourself. Are you, no, are, are my you... iPhone has a do not disturb, okay? okay. So I put that. Have, have you guys ever gotten any other message? Jay, you have. You have recently got uh, I got that recently. Yes, Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank I you. appreciate that. Confirmed. I appreciate that. Pee. I'm not slapping. Nobody's upset. slapping with no thousand dollar ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I know you drive too. What about you, Chip? Uh, say what? <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you say? I'm putting for these ladies on what blast. What did you say? They, 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 no snitching here. No snitching. Here. <laughs> no snitch. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> <laughs> but that abusing of our cell phone, we yeah. need to like you know, we need to bring it down. A notch. Yeah. A few notches. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, we definitely, we definitely need to bring it down. It's mm. just a device. When you take that away, mm. what, what do you have left? Yeah. Besides people crying, I mean, yeah. they they lose their phone and stuff like that. But you know, you know, I I, I can true. say this it's right true. now because I'm guilty of it. But you know who's now taking advantage of the phones? The kids. Who's, no. The babies. The baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, we were at home with my two-year-old, and his father has a Samsung phone, okay? Mm -hmm. I have an iPhone. Mm -hmm. My son knows how to operate my iPhone, and he knows how to operate the Samsung, which is daddy. He still doesn't know how to operate, okay? <laughs> but he knows how to operate it, and he's two. He's two years old? He's two. Whoa. He knows the YouTube icon, Okay. Mm -hmm. So he can go on to YouTube and go watch his baby shark. Baby shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, that's <laughs> where that song is from. Yeah. I want to know where that song is from. Well, YouTube. thank you. Thank you, Chip. YouTube. Like, that's where it is. So he knows, mm. you know, if we're, we're going out and he starts to get a little, like, you know, restless, he goes for the phone. Mm. Phone. Phone. And he's, he's squirreling up. Because he knows that, you know, when your phone's unlocked, you're, you're squirreling it, right? Of course. And he'll click on the YouTube icon. And because he watched those cartoons all the time, so it's the first thing that pops up and he clicks. Yeah. And he turns the phone sideways and then he's there. Yeah. You know, at two. Two years So old. it's like, they're seeing us with the phone constantly in our faces. True. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we always have this thing in the Caribbean, I don't know for anybody else, but it's always like... Monkey see, monkey do. Oh, yeah. Familiar oh, definitely. With that. Yep. You know? So they see you doing it. Mm -hmm. So then they pick up on it. And they're sitting there on the couch, you know, but yet they have, like, a truckload of toys yep. to go play with, to go, you know, enhance their memory skills, their 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 minds, you know. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. not interested in that. They want no. the phone. Yep, it's true. It's true. <laughs> and it's like, for me... I, for at Christmas, I found myself in Best Buy, and I was like, "What's the best thing I can get him for his Christmas gift?" I'm like, mm, "I should get him an iPod." And I'm in the store, and the man's like, "So this is the best iPod." Da 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 da. We're talking, talking, talking. So he's like, "Who's it for? For you?" And I'm like, "No, my son." He's like, "Oh, he's gonna love it. How old is he?" And I'm like, "Oh, he's two. He's like, two. <laughs> <laughs> he's like two I'm like, like are you mad yeah. I'm like are you sure you want to get that for your son and I'm like shouldn't you be con concerned about you getting your commission yeah. you're telling me like and then I'm like wait a minute that's a good salesman yeah and then I was like really yeah. and truly chin go back outside in the car sit down for a minute and reevaluate yourself right now mm. you're getting a two year old an iPod that's worth five, almost six hundred dollars, for what? Mm. For what, really? You know what I'm saying? Is it really for him or is it for you? Mm. You know, and when I say is it for him or is it for you, is because I know I can give him the iPod and he'll be quiet for hours. Mm. <laughs> he could be quiet for hours. You mm. know what I'm saying? And then I can go do what I think is more important. You know, taking care of home, that's making right. sure that this is in place and that's in place. And that's the next connection where I'm now missing out on because I'm giving him an iPod. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So in every aspect of our life, these things are taking over. Because <laughs> instead very, of you being a hands-on parent, yeah. you're like, 
here's the phone. Just go ahead. You know, baby shark waiting for you. You know what I'm saying? We could put that on replay for about two hours. Yep. And you'll still be sitting there baby sharking of course. for two hours. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So in every aspect of our life, it's taken over. But we have to consciously be aware mm-hmm. and to make those decisions where I'm not going to do that. Yeah. We're going we gonna to take that back and we're going to go over to those toys that I spent my money on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that I spent my money on and we're going to play with those and we're going to learn how to count and we're going to learn how to say one, two, three. Yes. Okay? Yep. So we have to make that conscious decision and we have to put that time in. Absolutely. Great point. I mean, like, I, I agree with both you ladies pertaining to that. You know, it's it's like... Uh, you see cell phones, like, I do see the pros and cons in a lot of situations towards it, mm-hmm. but I, I think it leads more towards the cons and the pros, because like I said, people are looking for that fame, they're looking for that glory moment, and to be honest, just from a human nature perspective, when you see people who record things, and it goes viral, and they become wink, wink celebrities for that moment, they end up on shows like the Ellen DeGeneres show, um, Dr. Phil, like, it depends on the situation, of course. Yeah. I mean, people, like, it kind of promotes them to want to do something as well, something risky mm-hmm. or something where they can get that moment of fame and then blow up. You know I mean? You think about so many situations. One that comes to my mind is that uh, the young Caucasian brother who does that dance Oh, yeah, yeah. A school bag with a school bag. Yeah, I know what you're talking, you know what talking about. about. Yeah, it's made it on Fortnite. It made it on Fortnite. Yeah. yeah, this brother is like all over the place. I mean, if we did a dance like that back in the days, you better hope you won't get jumped. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, it's. <laughs> but now, like, I mean, that stuff like that makes you famous. It goes viral. It yeah. goes viral, right? And then I think about that, you know, because things go viral and things are such um, accessible. You know, you talked about your two year old knowing, your two year old son knowing how to, you know, uh, adapt and interact with certain icons and using the is it the I, iPhone iPhone yeah. iPhone right you got to think about um what comes to my mind is which is the next question is is our children growing up too fast and are we neglecting the elderly cuz we know that anxiety like I, a lot of children are starting to receive yeah. and um develop anxiety they're anxious you know one time I was in the mall and I was actually in a grocery store and I seen a mother was talking to her son and the son wasn't listening. They were, the son was on the tablet. And so the mother's like, she took away the tablet. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? And he got very aggressive. Mm-hmm. It's like sort of like he bought it. I own it. Copyright, trademark. The whole <laughs> works, right? So, ladies, I want to ask you a question. All you listeners as well. Um, when it comes to um, us with this, all these technology, is it becoming, making us more... Anxious in life? Is anxiety growing at a rapid rate because of this? Social media and all the trends, people get depressed because they can't relate or they, um, they want to fit this particular, uh, I guess, ideal model type, you know what I mean? Or this particular athlete or entertainer or vlogger. So do you believe that it's playing a role in increasing anxiety today? Yes, it does. Oh, Pete, you're looking at your notes like you wrote something. Like no, you wrote, there was you wrote something. Like a story there was, this. No, 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 no. There was some. <laughs> stop about it. Stop. Well, anxiety stop. be like if I wake up in the middle of the night and where I thought I left my phone is not there. And yeah, yeah. you're like, where's my phone? Yeah. Where's yeah. my phone? Yeah. I, I've had those moments. I, I, my phone is on my bed with me. Like, I mean, it's crazy. I, I can relate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I would say yes. When it comes to your children, most definitely, like Chin said, her two-year-old son is, he knows how to operate a iPhone and yeah. a Samsung. You know what Two I'm saying? Two years old, yeah. Isn't that isn't that crazy? It is. Honestly. Can we put him to work? Can we? I'm looking for digital marketers. <laughs> I'm about to. I think he's eligible. I'm about to. We need some coins. <laughs> Jeez. I recently went to um, a sleep clinic, right? Because I was having yeah. some issues sleeping. Yeah. And um, they wired me up. Well, so it's like, why is all it was interesting, very interesting. So yeah. I, I spent the night over there, and I went up for I went to for my follow up, mm-hmm. um, like a couple of weeks after that, and um, they didn't really find anything. But one thing I was having was, <laughs> like I was up late, like if I had insomnia or something like that. Yeah. But you see that thing right there, that phone. Oh, that yes. thing right there. Oh, yeah, that, that thing phone right there. <laughs> yes. The phone was a big part of my. Me not sleeping, yeah. 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 
there's something about there's something with the phone light. Yeah. There's a blue light in the phone. We don't see it, but for our eyes, what happens is when you're continuously watching that screen for so many hours and you're on that screen and you're just watching it, you're watching it, you're watching it. Remember, you're just watching something mm-hmm. off of the screen. You know, it's not something real. You remember, we're talking about this real connection. Yep. It's not stimulating our minds. Our minds is just stimulating in one part mm-hmm. of your, your mind. You know what I'm saying? In your brain, I should say. You're, it's not doing anything for you. So you're constantly, your eyes is constantly wide open. So what happens to the light, it's sending messages in your brain that, you know, it's like daylight, you know, so mm-hmm. you wired, your brain is wired, you're wired and you're mm-hmm. constantly up because you always want to see. Of it's course. like, it's like some sensation in there that. and yeah. it's your, constantly, your body's tired. But yeah, but your eyes, eyes yeah, 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 it's just like, it's just constantly on the go. I noticed and, that too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like if you pop in like some caffeine pills or something and you're just like binge, yeah. binge <laughs> watching shows for the whole night. Mm-hmm. So it has you wired. So imagine what that's doing for us as adults. What's happening to the, the kids, you know, yeah. your, your babies, what's happening to them? Because they're constantly on that, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, something is happening to them and especially the content of what they're watching. Mm. So that's very important too. You know, remember, if you have your child watching YouTube, most of us do not filter the YouTube. I think no. if you have a young child, you should filter your YouTube. Mm-hmm. There, you can go in there in your settings and filter mm-hmm. to what your child should be watching and what's appropriate for them to be watching. Mm-hmm. There's times where I, I'm doing something and I hear bombs dropping in the living room <laughs> bombs yeah bombs dropping in the living room we're not talking bombs over baghdad we're yeah. talking bombs <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, here. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing like some obscene language dropping in the living room Shout that's what i said bombs yeah you know what i'm saying and i'm like hey cut that out i don't want to hear that but for some strange reason that's entertaining for my son and that, that's not entertaining for me yeah you know, I'm hearing these kids. It's kids because you're hearing them. And sometimes my, sometimes my son watches programs that um, adults do um, game How do you, game reviews. Mm-hmm. Adults are actually doing game oh, reviews. Yeah, yeah. So what, well, I guess adults and children play the same games nowadays. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So you hear them and I'm like, come on, man. Man is just dropping bombs. Like, you know, and it's just woof. And I'm like, what's going on? Yeah. You know? And I'm like, hey, you need to cut that out. If I hear it again, it's coming off. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear that. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure you do that at school, but don't make me hear you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that is doing something to our, our kids, you know? Mm-hmm. We have to filter exactly what they're watching. It's important that we filter. It's so hard for me to filter a 13-year-old now because he's into that, the yeah. YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's much not, access. And then yeah. if you... If you filter at home, they go out on the streets yeah. and they learn and it anyways. Access, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. Hey, let me come to your house, bro. My mom just, <laughs> she just filtered it, man. Yo, I got you, dog. Come through, come through. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> and, and to your next question, if we are neglecting the elderly. Yeah. Yes, we are. Mm. Um, people forget that um, we're, we, we're going to get old one day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Can you imagine we're at the, right we're, now. We're, at, we're in our 70s. You should have yeah. seen me getting out of bed this morning. <laughs> <laughs> we're in our 70s and nobody wants to take care of us. You know, yeah. not saying that, you know, you know, or check up on us. Yeah. You know, sometimes, yes, sometimes we're at 80 and we can't do things. And like, you know, and when we're in our 30s or 20s, mm-hmm. you know, the That's body's true. just not the same. It's not. And sometimes your family members put you in a home because they think that's the right thing for you to be there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But sometimes you just don't want to be there. You know, you can still do things, but you still want that interaction. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? My mom is my, my only living parent. I have a stepdad, but I would never, ever put my mom in a home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As she get older and if she can't move or anything like that. I'm taking my mom. She's rolling with me. Yeah. Ain't, nothing, ain't nothing that I won't yeah. do for my mom. You know what I'm saying? I do not care. My mom, like, you know what I'm saying? I'll do everything I for her. I would not put her out there in her home and let somebody else take care of her. No. Mm-hmm. Did my mama do that for me when I was a baby and I was vulnerable and I couldn't speak for myself? No. She took care of me. Yeah. You know, when I, when I was sick, she took, she took her days off. You know, she took care of me. So I just need to... For me, I need to do that for my mom, even if it was for my grandmother or any older person that I know that I'm close with, I would do that for, you know? So we tend to forget them because they're old and we think that, 
oh, they're, they're too whiny and they're too complaining. But mm-hmm. hey, that happens they're when you, you know, yeah. mm-hmm. that happens when you get old. You whine as a kid and when you get older, you whine, right? That's when you're in true. your 80s yeah. and your 90s, you, you become a child again, you know? That's true. And people tend to forget that we're still, they're still human beings mm-hmm. that still need interaction. And in Canada, it's... In Canada, I don't think they neglect them so much, but in the Caribbean, they do. I do feel bad for like elderly people in the Caribbean because mm-hmm. a lot of people don't take them on. Mm-hmm. You know, they just leave them, let them be. Over here, I I think they help them up. You know, you have your retirement home, but even so, you have your retirement home. Your family should still your family oh, member should go. That's what you meant. Okay. Your family member should still go check on you and make sure that you're okay, you know, yeah. and still have that interaction. Even though that they're having interaction with their their one another, mm-hmm. it's still good to have your interaction with your family, your friends who can visit you and those type of stuff. We cannot forget the elderly because we're going to be old people. Yeah. Listeners, we're going to be old one day. And we cannot forget about <laughs> the elders. Stop rolling your eyes, people. You're going to be old. We're going to okay? be old. And <laughs> you do not want to be 80 and getting the same treatment that they were getting. It's so true. we need to do better. It's very true. Very true. We definitely need to do better. Once those gray hairs start kicking in, I got a few in my chin. And I'm just, yeah, it's time. It's time. We definitely. Don't, don't, I, I, I colored all this, so. Yeah, you, you, you just, just no, no, I did not. I did cut. No, 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 I did cut. Jay, you use just for men. No, no, I'm not. Li- <laughs> for, the, <laughs> for the record, I'm not using just for men. It's okay. Oh, you know, we not saw- this month. <laughs> well, it's that's off, a good it's permanent off, It's actually looking um, dark, eh? You don't think? It looks that's, like just women. You know, because the hair is a little bit brown. That's but, you know, I want to touch on <laughs> touch on that. Although I've already spoke on my son, you know, mm-hmm. which we're trying to scale that back right now as we speak. Hopefully, he's not mm-hmm. at home on the tablet. <clears throat> <laughs> but um, my mom, like... I take care of my mom. My mm-hmm. mom is my mom's been sick for a couple of years, right? Mm-hmm. And um a couple of weeks ago, maybe about 2 3 weeks ago, um her occupational therapist came to the house. Yeah. And she was talking to me in regards to the fact that I'm currently pregnant and I'm going to be giving birth in a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. 53 days, folks. 53 Countdown days. Countdown is off. <laughs> Spring baby. It's not about the Super Bowl. It's about the countdown to Jen's birth. Right? Let's get and, it. And um, <laughs> she was like, you know, if you want, you can put your mom in a home. And I'm just looking at her. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not, I'm not, right? I'm just looking at her. I'm not, a, I'm not saying anything to her. And she's like, um, you know, or, or. Or if you want to do just for six months, you can put her in a temporary home for six months. And because my mom, she's not verbal at this point. So my mom, she's just sitting there. And how her and I kind of communicate sometimes is through eye connection. You know, the blinks. And my mom's eyes are just furiously going off. Like, (laughs) you know? (laughs) If you guys can only see right now why they're laughing. But my mom's eyes are going off like... Two blinks for past the slip (laughs) up. Tree, tree blink, forget yeah. her out of my house. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. You know what I'm saying? And I'm looking at this girl, and I'm like, you know, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. And it's like, what those get out moments, like, you know, yeah, right? I'm good. Yeah, and yeah. I'm yeah. like, I think we've had this conversation before when mm. we had originally started this whole process of me taking care of my mom, where I said, under no circumstance. <laughs> Is it an option for her to go to a home? Mm, absolutely. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I yeah. said, if there's anything that me and my mom ever used to spoke about, it was the fact that do not put me in a home. Mm, I respect that. You know what I'm saying? If mm. you want to go, go. I will stay here, but do not put me in a home. Mm-hmm. And why, why would I? You know, and Mm -hmm. the other day, one of her um, personal support workers were at the house and this African lady. And I think it was the second or third time she came to the home. And, you know, I was in the room and I was assisting her to do something for my mom. And she was just standing there with her mouth wide open and she's looking at me. And I'm looking at the woman like. Are you forgetting that you're here to do a job? Mm -hmm. You know, because I'm here doing the job. So then she's like, you know, I'm so sorry. And, you know, she started talking to me now. She's like, I'm so sorry that I was just staring at you. But, you know, you're a young girl. And I'm just in awe that you're here taking care of your mom. And I'm like, why are you in awe that I'm taking care of my mom? Mm -hmm. And she's like, 
because it doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, she's like, I'm in this job and I and I see it. And she's like, you don't see, especially mm-hmm. young girls at home taking care of their moms. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I'm from Africa. And, you know, that's what we do. We take care of our parents. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, you're from Africa. I'm from Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm like, we're not that far apart. And I'm like, it's not that, I don't know if it's like a cultural thing, you know, but I'm like. (laughs) Those little black people moments. Right. And I was just like, yeah, it wasn't really an option. I'm like, even if I didn't want to, and to be quite honest at first, you know, it was something where I felt like it was a burden, Mm -hmm. you know, because it was so much. But then Mm -hmm. as time went on and I kind of dealt with it, it it's like, it's not a burden. Mm-hmm. Because as Chris said, you know, your parent did that for you. Mm. You know, as they say, once a man, twice a child. Yes, right? Yep. So they did that for you. So why can't I return the favor? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's how I look at it. And, but, and, you know, I've also had experiences where PSWs come in, like younger PSWs. And the jobs that they do, and when I call the office and I said, listen, two things is going to happen here. Mm-hmm. It's either you don't send back that PSW mm-hmm. or you're going to train your PSW correctly mm-hmm. because the way that they treat these patients, you know, what if I wasn't there? Mm-hmm. You know Great what I'm saying? Point, right? True. What Great if so I wasn't there, yeah. you know, because what I see them doing, it's not appropriate, mm-hmm. you know? And I was having a, a conversation with one of my friends yesterday and she works in a in a senior's home. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I'm so sorry for them. You know, mm-hmm. the, the folks that, that are in these senior's home. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I'm so sorry for them. And she's like, the people that get the best treatments in the home are people that have family members that come and look for them. Mm-hmm. But if nobody looks for them, they're at the bottom of the totem pole. Wow, I didn't I, even know that. I, I, yes, to be honest. And I work with I work with seniors. She like, said they don't get the best treatment. Yeah. And I understand that yeah. because there's nobody coming in to check on them. Mm. That's true. There's yeah. nobody seeing what's happening. Mm-hmm. But if I'm there every day and I come in, I'm going to notice something that's yeah, happening yeah. with my parent. That's a great point. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So they're the ones that get the good treatment. And I'm like, mm-hmm. what should it matter that's, if someone's yeah. coming to check in on you? The principal will. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to have heart. You have to have passion. You have to have that connection. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, you'll just treat people any which way. It's so true. And you can't. And, and I've said to a couple of them before, like, imagine yourself a couple of years from now. Mm. God That's forbid yeah. you're mm-hmm. in this position. Would you want someone to come and yeah. take care of you the same way you're doing it right now? Yeah. You wouldn't. You want the best treatment possible regardless. Yeah. So if you're not enjoying your job, don't do it. And listen, we've had jobs where we're sitting there like, man, when is it 5 o'clock? Like, you know, the you're ready to go, yeah. right? The but there are certain jobs where you really have to love your mm-hmm. job. You yeah, have to love yeah, what it is that yeah, you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not every job you're going to be sitting down there like, when is it 5 o'clock? It's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know? caring, for, caring for another human being, it takes time. It takes patience. Mm-hmm. It's it's not an easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy for your family members to also take care of them, but also the people who are doing like the PSW workers. Mm-hmm. They should have compassion. Mm-hmm. Be very compassionate towards the their clients. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because why would you want? Why 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 did you go in that job in the first place? Was it to just for a paycheck, or was it because you were compassionate and you want to help people? You know what I'm saying? I actually talked to quite a few PSWs and. They openly told me they're here for a paycheck. And oh, yeah. Like, that really makes you think, you know what? I don't they're want not, my mom, yeah, my yeah. father, any of my elders. They're not doing the job yeah. properly. No. Yeah. And Can they're you rough. saying that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's, it's sad to oh, know. Yeah. It's sad to know that you're just in that line of work. Yeah. You have to be compassionate. Like a nurse, you have to be compassionate. You mm-hmm. have to because you're dealing with... Remember, you're not only dealing with a, a sick patient there. You're also dealing with the family a members. Person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Absolutely. So you have lots of... Th- Things that are coming at you all, all at once. Yeah. Patience is very, yeah, you, you have to have that because they're coming to. at you for questions, answers. They need all these things. Plus, you're taking care of somebody that they love. It's true. And you, yeah. you, we, we tend to forget that we're all going to be in 
we're all going to die, we're all going to be old, and why why should we treat the elderly like that, you know? Yeah. There's some, must, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's somebody's parent, that's somebody's that's sibling, right. that's somebody's friend, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, it's, a, it's such a great point, ladies, but it realistically, people look at it, well, it is, but it's not my grandma or grandpa or mother or father, so... You know, I mean, they really care for them. They wouldn't put them in a place like this. Some people have that type of attitude, which is sad, but it does exist. And, I mean, working with seniors, I work with active seniors. Like, the seniors mm-hmm. that work with me um, are active, mm-hmm. right? But I think about, I visit a lot of nursing homes, mm-hmm. and you see the mistreatment. You see, and like you said, Chin, if you're not monitoring daily or weekly, I mean, they just don't care. They push you to the side, mm-hmm. right? And yeah. it, it's a sad reality, you know? And ladies, it brings me to, I mean, we talked about a lot, you know, we're about to wrap it up. Yes. We, we want to let the audience know uh, the last question that comes up is, how do we resolve the situation? Like we, we tackled or touched on a lot of problems, but what are the solutions to really getting people to kind of examine and analyze where we need to get back with reality, where we, can we interact with one another? Like, what do you think some of the things that we, you know, could suggest, you know, because it, it's a really, really huge topic, but what are some of the things that you feel that can change the situation by, like, having bridging that, that inter- gap of that better that communication? Yeah. Um, I would say people might go and take a laugh at this, but um, going camping. No, now, you can get Lyme disease. Yeah, you can, but listen. <laughs> Think the about the bears. The bears, be. Think about the I'm bears. I'm just going to say that. Me- okay. Oh, winter time? Okay, or? no, listen. In the summertime, just go summertime? camping. Okay. Are we you in guys- a cabin? Oh, my or gosh. How much does it cost? Guys, guys, stop. <laughs> This is all the typical questions okay. that they ask okay. when you tell okay. them for camping. But think about think yeah. about the civi- the other civilizations that they have in the um the Amazon. Mm. Right? Yeah. Think think about the life that they don't know about this technology and what's happening out here. The only life that they know is they have this community. Say there are like 100 people in their mm. community, right? And each and everybody plays a part. Each and every, every person in that community has a role. Unless you're, you're pregnant, you probably have a role. You're probably cooking or doing something. Mm-hmm. Probably down to the kids have a role. Maybe not, the, not so much the baby, but everybody has a role in that community. Yeah. They all come together. They don't have, they don't have phones. They don't have... There's no no, they, TV. Yeah, there's no TV. Mm-hmm. They're making fire by hand. Mm-hmm. They don't even know that we probably exist mm-hmm. and what we're doing in this world, Very you know, true. in the other side of the other part of the world. Yeah. All they know is... They're in a bush, and they're living that life, and that's their life, you know what I'm saying? Tribal nomadic lifestyle. That tribe life, you know? So their communication skills are really on point Mm because you have to communicate. (laughs) That Mm -hmm. interaction is there because Mm -hmm. I'm seeing you every day, Chin. I can't be upset at you. I'm seeing you tomorrow, and I'm seeing you the day after Mm -hmm. because we live in the same community. Mm -hmm. I can't be running off going anywhere because we're all all a part of this together, you know? (laughs) So our interaction... (laughs) We, we come together, and that's why I say, like, camping shows us, like, how we could come together, mm-hmm. togetherness, to do things together. And, yes, some people may not want to go camping, but I would suggest unplugging out of the social media and having more interactions with your family mm-hmm. to have that, that real connection and doing, like, whether it be on a road trip or going hiking, mm-hmm. doing yoga, meditating. There's different ways to unplug out of this social media, and even hang out with the seniors. I've hung out with seniors before. I've played um, dominoes with them. Mm. And they're really entertaining. To be honest mm-hmm. with you, they, they have, have lots. stories from Yeah, days. I they love do. their stories. I love them too. Especially the ones that were in the war, the war vets and stuff yeah. like that. They tell you all a bunch of stuff. Mm. Like, I was just like, my gosh, y'all are real talkative. Like, just <laughs> pull it on, you know? Yeah. So you interact, <laughs> do things that you never thought you would have done. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So if you stay at home and you're on your computer, go for a walk. Mm-hmm. Go to the gym or go for a bike ride in the park, down in the trail. Help another p- human being. Do something for somebody. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't have to be spending money, but it could just be something small that is, you know, highly appreciated. Mm-hmm. You know, but we just need to unplug. You don't have to do it for a whole year. Mm-hmm. Every now and then, it's good to unplug and have interactions with actual people, yeah. not with your 
Snapchat, not with your Instagram, not with Twitter. You're actually having face-to-face -face reaction, um, face-to-face -face, um, contact. Um, I'm losing my words right now. <laughs> no, 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 we understand. We understand. <laughs> you know, you're having that interaction. Yeah, Absolutely. you can see me if I'm getting upset at you, Chin, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. We're laughing. Yeah, you know, like, you know, you see me giggling, Chin, yeah, yeah? you got the laughs too, you know? So, yeah, if we just do that, I think we could be good, you know? And every now and then, yeah, we, we could be all right. We just need to have that unplugging. We need to unplug from that. Yeah. It's just small steps in which we consciously have to make each and every day to connect first starting with yourself because mm -hmm. you have to a lot of us need to reconnect with ourselves before we can reconnect with anybody else okay very, very, <laughs> very, very, very you know so sometimes it's as you say turn off that computer turn off that that tablet Go for a stroll by yourself. Mm. You know, be with nature. Be like, oh, the, that's what the bird sounds like in real life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Isn't that funny? People may not even know what the birds sound like. Yeah. No. Yeah. You know what I'm sure. saying? Pe people forget yeah. these small little things that, yeah. you know, Mother Nature provides. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they go out and like, ooh, fresh breeze. This feels great. Like, yes. you know what I'm saying? It's like, ooh, I hear the waves hitting the, you know... <laughs> It's like, oh, that sounds good. It's not just something I'm playing on YouTube, yeah. right? <laughs> to go to sleep. Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's real. It's actual. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <laughs> you know, even if it's just once a month, you connecting with a friend, be like, hey, you want to go out for a drink? You know, or, you know, I'm going to come by your house today. I'm going to be in the neighborhood. I'll stop by for five, ten minutes and say what's up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if it's just five minutes, it's five minutes. But if that five minutes turns into an hour, so be it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, just small ways in which to connect. And even more importantly than connecting with yourself and your friends, connecting with family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to find ways and connect with family. Like, back to my mom, like sometimes I'm like, Especially now, the June is let, um, later part of my pregnancy. I'm exhausted for everybody, okay? Mm. Like, I'm just <laughs> exhausted. I am tired. I'm yeah. over it all. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and sometimes I'm like, oh, shoot, you know. Did I have, like, a real good conversation with mom all week? And then I'll just go in there and I start talking all sort of nonsense. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, she'll do a couple of giggles here and there. And I'm like. All right, like, like I feel good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. I'm yeah. not going to my bed and I'm like, man, I didn't really have like a good conversation with her today. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like when I do it, it's like you feel so good and you forget that feeling. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. how good you feel, even when you're connected with a with a friend you haven't seen in so long. You leave that conversation like. Ooh, my belly hurts from laughing so hard. You know what I'm saying? You're reminiscing about old times. Those soul food okay. moments. Right, because you know you can't do those things you used to do in your 20s anymore. So you can only talk about those things that happen, right? And it's Salt. like, right? Like you mm -hmm. forget how good those connections are. But True. As much as you can convey it over a text message, it doesn't feel the same. You know, I can say LOL, but I'm, I'm writing the LOL like this. Yeah, what is that like? What a yeah, blank, like, what a blank <laughs> stare on my face yeah. while I'm That's watching true. Netflix. Yeah, it's right? like, that, that was I really funny, but laughing. let me help him out. Oh, no expression. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. I'm not laughing. I'm watching TV or I'm on the toilet. Yeah. <clears throat> Flush. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What a LOL. Like. Um, <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? When you're, when you're with people, you know you're getting that genuine, that genuine moment. Like, that gut laughter. And, like, everybody tears running. Yeah, you know? boy. And it feels great. It does. It you know what I'm does. saying? Yeah. So it's like, it's good to get back to those moments. But sure. when, when it's not happening, it's almost like you don't miss it. Yeah, so true. Because you're so busy in your everyday life. But when you get back to those those moments, man, does it feel good. Oh, I love that. I know? love that feedback. It's, it's sure. It's sure, it's sure. You're right about that, Chin. It, it, really, it really sure does feel good. Yeah. It There's does. It does. Better. It's it like, does it's something like medicine. For, yeah. yeah. It's medicine for you, you know what I'm it saying? Because in a way, you're like, mm -hmm. so when is the next outing, girls? Like, you know, when we're yeah. going to link Remember up? Remember we used to right? be like that? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm saying, like, you know, we old. But 
we just busy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like before you leave that 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 it's out, true. and you're saying so, everyone pick up their phone. So when's the next free date? Like when we're doing this again? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even though you might plan like we'll do this a month from now, and it might not happen, yeah. but you know. You know what I'm saying? You made that arrangement. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. something is going to happen. We're going to yeah, do it. Might not course. be the day we set out, but mm -hmm. we're going to do it again. So you know it's in the works, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it's so good to get back to that. And I know it's hard for some people to try to disconnect from work, you know, from family, mm -hmm. from trying to get your own self together. But sometimes reconnecting with people will help you to get yourself back together. Because mm -hmm. then That's you kind of true. find back your old self. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Like, what used to make you happy. Yeah. You know? So, come on, folks. Get off them computers. Get off Instagram. Get out of people's <laughs> business. Yeah, that one. Repeat that one. Repeat. Get out of people's business. Mind your funky business. <laughs> We said, Leave me alone. Funky. Yeah, funky. funky yeah. Brother, Man, funky. your funky, funky business. Leave me alone. N K Y funky. <laughs> yes, it's funky. <laughs> but um, come on, folks. Like, we just need to reconnect with people, mm -hmm. and just um, we'll be good. We will be good. Mm -hmm. Cause listen, let me tell you something. These people who are cre creating these phones, mm -hmm. they know what they're doing. They certainly do. It's a master plan, folks. They're taking you. us down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all about distraction. It's true. Because if you're distracted, then you're not focused on what's really happening. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you cannot allow these major corporations to be distracting you from what's really happening. And that's reality. Okay? Connect with people. Let that beep go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One of those corporate leaders are probably listening to right now. Hey, cut that show. Cut that show now. 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 Cut, your, mm. cut that show. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, ladies, you pretty, you pretty much summed up what I was going to say. I mean, Pete, you talked a lot about nature. Mm -hmm. I know we laughed about the camping because we haven't been guys, camping in guys, a long time. Guys, guys, you know time. what? I, but, I went camping last year. It, was, it wasn't bad. I, I, yo, nice. listen. Do Chin I knows. Mean? Chin, you know I'm ready for that apocalypse, right? Yes, and we have a meetup point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's going down. We like, have a meetup point. Chin knows, like I'm, I'm about that life, man. Eh? We're, start, we're starting our own cult. I got ASAP. my canned goods. <laughs> I got my canned goods. We are prepared. You got coals? Because I, I got, got, I, I got, got coals this season. I have a half a bag of coals. I got okay. prayer. I'll bring prayer. <laughs> we got prayer. I got <laughs> candles on deck. I got matches, not lighters, matches. Um, I got lighter fluids. I got fire starters. I got water bottles. She's serious. Yes, water. yes, yes, no, yes, I am yes, yes. I got I got plastic barrels, not paper barrels. I got plastic barrels. <laughs> I got blankets, first aid kits. <laughs> yeah, we're we're we're, we're we're ready for that apocalypse. We have talked about it several times, and it's just like. It's, we can't, you know, you know, Walking Dead, right? So, yeah, we just stimulate our <laughs> minds, you know? And that's how we end up coming up with, you know, that topic. Like, you know, like, yo, what I just about hope this, when the apocalypse happened, like, my ankle's not broken or anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in tip top, tip top shape. You know what I mean? I ain't got to be carrying no babies because we all got to be running. The, camp, the, camp, the camping thing for me allowed us to, um, each, each person that we went on camping, camping with in our tent that allowed us to each person had a role right mm -hmm. whether you be like you go get water you catch the fire you do something you had a role so we were communicating mm -hmm. and to be honest with you there was no phones so That's you had true. yeah there was a, no phones. You, our phones was working but like the reception was crap there was no time to be watching nothing on that no social media it was just like all right when we get in the city we, we can reconnect. Yeah. 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 No, that's what that's what's up, ladies. Um, like I said, as we're gonna conclude, um, like I said, I I pretty much you summed it up very well. I mean, both y'all in regards to um nature was part of my perspective as well as family. Yeah. I think that communicating with both is essential. I always like um character building skills, mm -hmm. like like rock climbing, um I never went water, water rafting, I believe that is. Water rafting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, light or water canoeing. rafting. Yeah, Are like, you going you know down I mean? the rapids? Yes, things, anything that involves this team, just a team-oriented yeah, environment, yeah. 
I don't think you can go wrong with it. And usually those things avoid eliminating cell phones. You know, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. bubble soccer. There's so many things you could do out there just to build character and just have a good time together. Like, I do miss that. Right now, like, I mean, I'm going to be going to work later on. And mm -hmm. just having this communication right now, this is, this is very fruitful. And it's essential. We had good times. We talked about serious moments. And this is what our podcast is all about. You know, we just want to bring out the best out of our listeners and also get their uh, their feedback. You know, what stimulates their mind, yes. right? Because we're plugging in their mind. Mm -hmm. So, ladies, as we conclude, any final thoughts for our listeners? Unplug. <laughs> Unplug your mind, you know? Mm -hmm. Go back to default setting, folks. <laughs> and, you know, I keep saying that and I giggle about it, but it, it's, you mean it's it. for real. Yeah, no. Default settings. No, it's true. It's reconnect, true. reconnect back with yourself. Yeah. And you see how amazing you feel at the end of it. Yeah. Because that's how you really get to find your true self. It's true. It's true. You know, Pete, what do you think? I see you got, like, some um, books here. Is that, is that, like, a character building book? Like, how to be one with one? <laughs> it's until um, daily until devotions. today. Yes, ah, it's okay. really good. I'm one time I'll read something out of it. It's very, it's very, very good. It's just you know sometimes you need some gentle reminders in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we all are going through things in this world. So sometimes when you could um, see something from somebody else, you know that you're not alone in this world, right? So mm -hmm. you can relate. So it's very, it's nice to know that sometimes you're going through something. Some Another person may not know that you're going through something, mm -hmm. but you may see something that they post or, you know, they told you something. And, it, you know, it just sits well with you, you know, and you're just like, all mm -hmm. right, I'm not alone in this world. Mm -hmm. Guys, listeners, unplug. Unplug those cell phones. Mm -hmm televisions, computers, it's time to be aware mm -hmm. on all aspects of life. And it's time to have some real connections with some real people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Thank you, Chin and P. And I know we mentioned unplug a lot, but we have to forget, or not to forget, Keep your phone plugged in. You know, you want my tune in for the show. Yeah, you know? don't, don't, un, don't unplug yes, 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 this yes. podcast, okay? Yeah. Don't get it you twisted know, now. I don't know about the you other podcast, but this one, you might want to yes, tune in for it. Yes, most definitely. <laughs> Just plug in once a week for an hour, and then you can unplug. That's it. That's all we ask. That's all we ask. We'll, we'll stimulate you for the rest of the week. Absolutely, exactly. <laughs> Ladies, it's been a ball here. I'm very grateful. Um, my final words is just, you know, for the listeners, for ourselves, just keep building character. You know, keep asking those questions that pertain to the purpose of, you know, who we are as individuals. Know yourself, you know what I mean? And value. I can't stress this enough. Value yourself. You are important. Yes. You are loved. And um, this show will definitely initiate and implement that a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, we want your feedback, viewers, listeners. We're giving you our feedback, but it's not all just about us. You know what I mean? It's about pretty much everyone's interaction and their feedback through it. So stay plugged, you know, but unplug your mind from a lot of the social media that takes place. So with that being said, you know, we're signing off. So you have doop, 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 doop. Jay. Chin. Sister P, you guys be humble and be wise out there. And that's what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great afternoon or evening. What time, what time is it? It's, it's, it's it afternoon. don't matter don't what matter. time it is. Just have yourself a fabulous day, y'all. And that's how you <laughs> sum it up. Yes. Peace. Peace.